Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this jet black hair in less than 45 minutes. Super quick, easy, and efficient. And also how I achieve these curls. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, make sure you keep on watching. So as y'all can see, I am pissed right here. Like this was literally my reaction when I saw how this hair was blending. I took off my lace closure wig and forgot my hair was jet black under the goddamn wig so i had to do something quick and fast because i needed my hair done so i needed to make some is shake and this was my first time doing this so i watched some videos and i went and got me some adore black velvet and we're about to water color this hair if this didn't come out right i didn't know what i was gonna do because I wasn't about to sit right there and dye these strands one by one, like that's over it. So we're gonna go ahead and watercolor. As you guys can see right now, I basically used four bottles of Adore Black Velvet and just boiling hot water. So I just mixed as I went so I won't have any lumps as they say in the videos and everything will go smoothly. Now this is the ashy brown wig that didn't match my hair. And now we're just gonna dip it in that hot water. And I am so shocked with this process. I don't know how I never knew about this before. Like I always heard about it, but I didn't know how to do it. So here I am doing it. I put some foil on top just so that I can really get it and make it work quicker and faster, which was about 30 minutes is how long I left it in there. And all I'm gonna do is wring it out, rinse the excess dye out, and go in with um, a chi treatment so the color can lock in and it can add some moisture back into the unit. So I let that treatment sit on the hair for about 30 minutes. I dried it and then flat ironed it. And y'all, this hair was jet black, like super sleek and shiny. And it, it was so fast. Like I'm about to start doing this more because the mess was very minimal and it did what it needed to do. So now we're going to start styling the hair. I am wearing my leave out because this is a V-part wig. So I had to use some type of protection on my hair. I did spray heat protectant on it. I will list that down below, but I did use this frizz buster so it will blend more with the unit. And I also want y'all to see that I'm using literally the most minimal leave out that I could have because if I damage my hair, I don't need my whole ass head heat damage. So if I do damage it, that's all that's going to be damaged. <laughs> So this is how the inside of the unit looks. These are all the combs and clips and elastic band that already come inside of the unit so you can have a nice secure installation. And this is Eunice's 24 inch V part body wave unit in 250% density. I wanted the thickest wig that they had on the site. I'm tired of the thin, fluffy, airy units. I want something thick. I wanna be able to have big, voluminous curls, and I wanna be able to style my hair in layers without it looking like I have two bundles in my hair. Like, I don't want that. And the hair was 24 inches, so I need some, I need some density to it, so. I was overall pleased with the unit as a whole and it blended with my hair very well. And I know that kind of contributed to the hair not being able to get bone straight. It still had a little bit texture to it, which I'm not mad at, but I know if I had like a closure or frontal that I would wear with this grade of hair, I would want my hair to be bone straight. But since I do have leave out and my hair still had some type of texture to it it ended up looking really well and blending very well but ladies now is the perfect time to experiment with leave out if you barely wear it it's now getting cold outside so you don't really have to worry about your hair frizzing and all of that
straight hair was cool and all I'm happy I was able to experience that for a little second but then a couple minutes later I was like I want curls and since this hair is thick enough I'm about to put curls in here because I usually can't put curls in other wigs because the density is just not there so I did one side of my head and I was also excited to use this new flat iron and I really like how these curls came out with a flat iron because I usually use curling irons and my curls don't hold that long um so these curls lasted for a little minute with some hairspray and it was super fast so if you're interested in this flat iron that i'm using in this video make sure you check the description box below along with all of the links to this hair and all the other products that i use in this video
concludes the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my future ones. Bye, guys. Mwah. Baby, my mama.